Basically, ladies and gents, what we're doing here now is uh, lighting 19 candles for the 19 souls that would be with us today. But unfortunately, lost their lives due to life on the street of Bristol or on the streets of Bristol. Uh, Carl will go back into uh, more explanation as the day goes on. But I'm just trying to keep you up to date what we're doing here. Seem to have some support from people inside, which is kind of cool. Who's drinking George Ferguson's beer, by the way? Well, what can you do? One more. There you go, 19 candles for the 19 souls. Can we just show, um, can we just have one minute silence please for the fallen brothers and sisters who sadly lost their lives living on the streets of Bristol. Thank you, Carl. 217 people in Bristol who's going to be on the streets tonight. No choice of their own. There's 2,968 people in Bristol who are homeless tonight. I'd like to thank everybody for turning up. I hope you enjoy yourself and let's go to College Green. Not for profit!
out. The only reason they don't do it is because of greed and profit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's affordable, friends? <laughs> What's affordable? Uh, well, about 80% market rate. Very nice. Right. Right. Bristol 
Council, shame on you! Bristol Council! 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 Shame on you! Homes for people, not for profit! Homes for people! Homes for people! Hey, what's going on, buddy? Here, Michael. How are you saying, lad? Hello. Hello. How are you? So what are we doing here today then, buddy? What was all that about? What was all that marching and talking and saying? That about? was about homeless people. About homeless people? Yeah. To elaborate, my friend. Now, everybody thinks homeless people don't exist, but we do. And we need all the help we can get. Absolutely. But we're not getting it. So guess what? We're going to help ourselves. Uh, so you and Carl run a charity together, don't that's, you? That's what we do. That's right. Could you Come. explain a little bit about what your, what your charity does? Well, in a nutshell, help people by getting rent, say, getting the rent for them, putting them in a property. For the first six months we help them along and then get them on their feet and hopefully they get they get work yeah, and yeah. they can sure. sort themselves out. That's sure. in a nutshell. It's a bit, yeah, it is a bit more complicated than that. Oh, it's a bit more complicated. That's yeah. well. you, basically, you basically get the money together for yeah. deposits, rent and yeah. get them housed That's off it. the streets. That's what we do, yeah. Excellent. Uh, I admire what you're doing. Obviously, your 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 uh, charity has brought along this event, and obviously we've come down oh, to no, no. Um, Kaz yeah. and Kerry, yeah. their, their charity, yeah. set the event up okay. for us. If for that you. makes sense, okay. yeah. so they set for, it, okay, for our no charity. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's brilliant. So, so it's basically two charities working together for the same cause. Well, that's that's, that's good. That's basically what, what it is. is. Thank you, myself. But what do you think of the decision to sell oh, the 15 counter houses? What's your take on that? Were you there last night? Unfortunately, not. No, I couldn't make it. I wish I would. Well, I'd be very clear on that. That as long as the as long as the money is ring fenced. Uh, and used to buy more houses. Absolutely, then it's yeah. okay. Okay, but there are some of them I thought were, I was surprised that the particular ones in Avonmouth that were. Have in you seen a video evidence nick. of them? Yeah, no, I haven't, been, I haven't seen a video, but I hear oh, yeah, that yeah. they're in good nick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah I, I, I have video evidence those, on my YouTube as does Paul I can't, yeah. I, I can't comment specifically, but on the uh, certainly on the, the, there are certain flats and across the city and houses that, yeah, yeah. you know the council shouldn't be owning no absolutely you know not. and when i was elected uh, in my ward i found three flats worth over a third of a million each oh really okay uh empty so what would you plan to do if, if you were elected on, yeah. on the fifth what would you do to combat homeless so what would you be your first action to help the homeless first action is we're going to build a lot of houses okay and, and what about uh, the i get a lot of abuse now? from uh, everybody in red for saying it but uh what about the houses that we have empty right now what well, about we the need to bring those empty? back into use or okay. we need to or we need to Dump them and use get the money because if they're not if they're not uh, we practical, them. we'll sell them. Sell but, them as well. You know, but I know you don't want me to sell them. But ultimately, with any landlord, and when you've got as many properties as the council has, you're constantly rotating stock. I said this last night, you know, and that and that is good responsible property management, whether you like it or not. Ultimately, we need to produce enough homes so everybody's got one. Absolutely, and that is my that is my target. And whoever uh, you know, however we do it doesn't matter as long as we do it okay so, so that is the target so say so, say so with these um, empty buildings again how, how what would you what is your plan to open these buildings what, what, well what it depends your... on the finance the finances of reopening them you know okay. if they are if they're going to cost a fortune to reopen then you know we're going to have to look at what we can do with them to make them usable or to realize the money okay. the capital okay. but you know and I, I don't believe in just selling stuff for the sake of selling it yeah but yeah. I do believe that if it's too expensive to, to regenerate it or it's impractical and not what people want then we might as well take the money and invest it in what people do want okay but uh, any sales the money must be ring fenced and kept within the housing service oh just don't know does it thank you very much sir much appreciated as my son's mom so yeah so i get a few hours sleep then but yeah, yeah sleep that's, really that's what happened inside there is no <laughs> sleep tonight that's no. Yeah. Kerry's too loud for that anyway. So how long have you been here tonight then? All night, we're staying all night. Till 6am, yeah. till till isn't it? My husband did a sleep right back in February. Did he? Did he? Yes. Did he? And uh, me and Paul Savile actually confronted him at that sleep out. We, we raised lots of issues with him. He told us he left at 6.45 and a lot of the people that were at the homeless 
two pipes, said he left it up as one. Yeah. That's how much he cares. Naughty boy. Yeah, that's how much he cares. Naughty Georgie. 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 Naughty Georgie.
Okay, good morning everyone. It is now around uh, half past one in the morning here in Bristol. We are still out sleeping out for the protest. I thought I'd come and sit in front of the sign for a little bit. Kerry is still attracting uh, public attention and telling you what's going on in Bristol, which is really good. Shirley there. Um, yeah, we lit more candles, which are brought by a friend of ours, which is really good. Uh, we lit, like I say, we lit the last the 19 candles. We've been added more to them for the 19 that are being remembered this evening as part of this protest. Um, yeah, so I've really got to say. <laughs> so it's <laughs> four, four. What time is it? Four twenty-four a.m. here in Bristol. At uh, wherever. The, where are we again? Castle Castle Green? No, College Green. College Green. That's the one. Yeah, we're here. Over there, there is a uh, tent-type thing with a lot of sleeping people who came out for the protest. Um, still fairly busy on the streets of Bristol. Esme's asleep over here. I'm not asleep. Well, sort of, but she's I'm there either. She's confused. <laughs> Brain dead. Kerry and Kaz are over there. Tell her it's a bit fucking too four in the morning, man. You got me out here filming you guys. You're fucking mental. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, I'm glad you've got that thing in as well, because it proves that we're actually out here all night. No, I see, yeah, man. It's <laughs> like, no, really little. Let me, let me do that again. It. Let me see what is it now, sir. Hang on. Yeah, 425, 425 on the camera. So they can't say shit to us. Yeah. Hey, George, no, 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 you, you were gone and tucked up in bed by now. Yeah. Yeah. At home by now. Strong. Half one he left, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, half one. Stick yeah. yeah. up your strong. fucking red trousers, George Kirk. Yeah, I've always been one to like help. Getting pretty cold outside. But we're all in pretty high spirits still. I say we've got. About six people over there sleeping in the gazebo tent thing that was set up earlier on. And there's about one, two, three, about six of us over here. It's about 12 people came. Okay, so it is 5.03 a.m. here at Bristol Home Sprawl Sleep Out. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty fucking tired, Ralph. Actually pretty fucking cold as well, man. I, I'm, I haven't been sleeping tonight. I agreed to stay up and uh, keep an eye on peeps because uh, people are sleeping in the tent and over by the sign as well. It's been a good night, it's about 12 of us out here who slept out, but I think there was about 40 to 50 people who marched with us today, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, man. Crazy, some of these candles are still burning from earlier on, which is kind of cool. As I mentioned earlier, we did the uh, 19 candles for the 19 souls earlier on. So it's 5.24 in Bristol now. Everyone's pretty much asleep, apart from me and this, this dude, this guy here. We're still awake. We're on security detail, pretty much. We're looking after the, the huddled masses of sleeping baggers. So yeah, Mr. Ferguson, who went home at half past one at his protest, saying that if we have a sleep out on a really cold night, he'll have some respect for us. And it's one of the coldest Aprils recorded, apparently. So yeah, we're out here in the masses. While you are tucked up in that piece of shit you call a tobacco factory. Good morning. Okay, people, it's that time. It's 6 a.m., so you know what that means. Wakey, wakey! 6 a.m. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs>